this is an introduction to Core AI Virtual Assistant Platform. The platform supports the entire life cycle of a virtual assistant project. We will review the Conversation Designer, which is in sync with Dialog Editor. It features unit and testing and debugging capabilities. We'll review NLD training along with relevant threshold configuration, context management capabilities, the various channels of engagement that you can enable for the virtual assistant, both digital and voice, how we analyze the virtual assistant usage, NLP metrics and conversational flows, and also how we support the version management, access to the project and how we collaborate across business design and technology teams. For us to get started, let's go to developer.core.ai and from here, in addition to the documentation and support that we offer, you can sign up for bot builder access. When you do that, it takes you into a workspace like this. Now here on my screen, I can go and manage my various virtual assistant projects. I could create a new project. We have some templates for that you could use from the bot store, or you could start from scratch. Let me click through on this one project I have. It says retail banking. In this project, what you will see is on the summary screen, these are the different tasks or intents that the virtual assistant supports. These are the different conversational flows. The virtual assistant has the knowledge or the FAQs to support the conversation. It has received training, the, the utterances to train machine learning engine and patterns that are used to train the fundamental meaning based engine. The virtual assistant experience is also enabled across various channels of engagement, in this case, for voice as well as web, as you can see. On the top, you will see the various stages of a virtual assistant project, starting from build, deploy, analyzing the metrics and flows, and then managing access to your project. Let's begin with storyboard option out here under conversational skills menu. Here I can go and now create a mock bot. I can create a new conversational scene here, or I can just go and click on edit on one of these. What you're seeing on my screen now is the conversation designer, where at the bottom of my screen, I can simply select the persona in my conversation and I can type in what I expect, in this case, the user to say. Now this is a make a payment scenario. So I'm gonna go and say, you know, I want to make a payment. It's as easy as that. And when the user says something like, I wanna make a payment, what would you like the virtual assistant to do? How would you like the virtual assistant to respond to the user? The assistant could simply say, sure, I can schedule that for you. and then engage with the user further and ask the user to provide information. In addition to the conversation back and forth, note is out here, you can also collect notes and you can add in tags to define something like this, just logic that needs to be supported. So in a simple designer like this, we are able to build out the conversational flow. If I sort of scroll up here, you will see we can add comments. I can preview this flow when I click through in preview. I can share this preview with my colleagues and collaboratively collect feedback from them. In this example, what you're saying is the user could say some of, one of the things like, you know, I want to pay my credit card bill. In this case, without writing any code, now I'm able to get, put this in front of my team and get feedback, collect feedback. The virtual assistant says, you know, I can schedule that for you. Which card is this for? And I can go and now select a credit card or, you know, let's just go with something that's not recognized. It could be an invalid input from the user. We can now go further engage with the user. And this is the experience that we would generate. I'm going to exit out of the preview mode. This is the conversation designer. Let me step back from here to the previous menu. I can have mock scenes that are not connected to a dialogue task. Or what I can do is I can come in here and, and now link my conversation designer to a runtime dialogue editor. When you do that, it gives me an experience like this. Let me go and click edit here. 
What you're seeing on my screen is now the same conversation designer, but it also has an associated runtime dialogue task. Notice out here what's happened is based on the design that I have on the left hand side, my conversation has been built out automatically. And if I were to go and add a component or a node to my runtime execution flow, like here, it will keep in, it in sync with the conversation designer. In this menu that I, that I have here, these are the different building blocks to, to build out the fulfillment of the particular conversational flow. We have message node, entity nodes, confirmation, but the bot actions are where we go integrated with backend system to, to get or update system with information. In addition to implicit transitions, the platform also allows you to explicitly transition from one flow to the other, which can be helpful in quite a few scenarios. Here, these are the different building blocks. In addition to design and runtime, execution of the flow out here, you'll be able to see how we're able to go and now unit test a conversation flow. On top of my screen, I have the debug icon. When I pop up on that one, I can now go and see what the virtual assistant is doing, what's happening under the covers. I could say something like, you know what, I want to pay my phone bill. And I can see what's happening, what's the analysis, where is the virtual assistant now at this point? It says, okay, how much would you like to pay? If I scroll further down, I have the details. Here is the natural language analysis details for this particular reference. We'll see another view of how we train and analyze our, and test for NLU performance. And further out here is the context footprint of the virtual assistant at this point in time. Let me close out of here so you can design, build, test, and further up here on top, you'll see the ability for you to go and now manage interruptions for the virtual assistant. The, the scope of the context management configuration is global at the virtual assistant project level, or this could also be for a specific flow that you want to customize. Okay, I'm going to switch it back there and I'll close out of here. These are the basic building blocks of a certain conversational flow design, build, test, manage interruptions. We'll take a look at training for NLU next. For that, I'm gonna navigate back to the main menu and take you down here where it says natural language. Here, I'm able to provide the training for natural language understanding. Here are the various intents that I have configured for my project. And when I click on any of these intents, for example, check balance, when I click through on that, it takes me into a screen where I can now go and provide further utterances. I'm able to import and export utterances as well. And out here, I'm also able to tag entities within the utterance. So it says, what's the balance on my savings account where savings is an entity type, the account type. In, in addition to machine learning utterances, up here, we have the patterns that I use to train for fundamental meaning-based analysis. It has a bit of a syntax, but it allows us to get up to speed fairly quickly. A combination of patterns and machine learning utterances is what helps us get to an optimal NLE performance with relatively less training data in a short period of time. I'll close out of this. Along with the training, particularly for machine learning, if I take you to thresholds and configuration, here I'm able to go and take a look at machine learning neural network options that I have. The platform supports different algorithms and network types. You could choose the one appropriate for your use case. We can define the thresholds, the minimum uh, probability match, the definitive score for machine learning analysis. Here under natural language advanced configuration, we can also go and tune for hyperparameters for a particular network type. So we have the design, the, tr the, the training, I'm able to go and test I can, I can test for unit testing. I can also have a batch test for my project. The platform supports two predefined training suites. One is developer defined based on the training that was provided. The other one is based on the successful interactions the virtual assistant has already encountered. And the third one is any custom batch suite that I can put together here as, as it's done in this case. So this is the basics of your conversation design. Under, under intelligence is where you can go and manage 
the interruptions behavior. How do you want to handle interruptions? Do you want to allow, hold, and resume? How do you want to resume back to a certain conversation? Here are the different events that come into play during a conversation. Things like, you know, when the conversation ends, when the conversation initiates. What do you do if an intent is not found? When I click through on this, I can go and configure what I would like to do. Send a message to the user or engage with the user in a graceful fashion by tying it to one of the conversation flows that we have. Further below in the configuration section, you have settings for allow enabling multiple languages, PII settings, and you can also manage content within your configuration. These are the different steps during the build phase of your project. Once you have them, once we have that done completed, we can go to deploy and now configure the different channels of engagement. I can select one and you'll notice out here, there's a set of configuration steps and details. In, in terms of a voice experience, we have voice call properties that you can go set up. Without writing code, you're able to enable and engage with the users across various channels of engagement. During runtime, I can see the usage of the virtual assistant. Let's start with NLP metrics here, where you can see the performance. How good is our NLU? On the screen, you will see things like intent found, intent not found, and other details. For any of these flows out here, I can go and click on a row. When I do that, it brings up details from back in time. What did the user say? From what channel did the user interact with the virtual assistant? And I can take a look at the natural language analysis as well. Here are the three engines, machine learning, fundamental meaning-based, and knowledge graph. When I click on any of these components out here, it shows me the details. How was it analyzed? Further out here are the thresholds. What are the thresholds that came into play here? I'll close this. Similarly, for fundamental meaning-based engine, it tells us what's the analysis. It also shows us the parts of speech tags that are associated along with any words that are ignored for further analysis. In this case, the knowledge graph says it does not have any, anything that matches that's relevant, which is fine. The scores from the three engines is sent to a fourth component, the ranking and resolution engine, which tells us the ultimate decision. Why did the platform decide to do something? Notice out here, what's important is the transparency of the platform. It allows us and helps us understand the function, uh, the capabilities and performance of the NLP engines. Up here is the chat history. I can also now go and see when did the user say something and what was the end user's experience, as you can see here. I'll close out of that. We analyzed the, the NLP matrix performance, particularly for something that's intent not found. And then we can go and also review the conversational flows. Here you'll see the user journey. How are our users interacting with the virtual assistant? What's their experience when they come along and interact? On, uh, here are the different, the different intents or transits that are pre-clustered. And then you can see here how they are mapped to a certain intent. It will also show you any drop-offs during a certain conversational flow. In, for example, in this case, people who they asked for check, to check balance, they were able to do that successfully. When I click on any of these, it will further show me what are the users in, saying after they have indicated that in this case, they want to check balance. You have the different flows that come into play. People are then providing their account type to get details. Maybe they're actually coming in while they're making a payment, they want to come check a balance. So these are the different scenarios you can analyze. And then, and then finally out here, what we have is how you could go and manage access to your project so that you can collaborate with your different team members. You can have devel project developers, testers, or any, any sort of role that you'd like to allow for your, for your project. Well, this is an overview of the virtual assistant platform that supports the entire life cycle of your project. Thank you.